Okay, this is my first video, so bear with me. Um, something that uh, is specific with these Toyotas that I found out. Um, and I wanted to share so that nobody else had the same struggles that I did of spending hours trying to get your coolant to go all the way through the system on these Toyotas. Um, only to find out that there's a specific process that you have to do on these vehicles. So basically the coolant starts out, it goes down into the block. From there, it's got to go uh, out the uh, upper hose into the radiator, then fill up the radiator, go up to the lower hose. Once you open, once that happens, then you got to wait till the thermostat opens before it'll go through the rest of the system, which is kind of backwards from what it normally is. Um, so there's actually a specific process that you have to do. When I started on that Toyota there, so after I replaced the motor, spent quite a few hours trying to do it and uh, never could get it to work. There's the hood off of it. When I did some research, I found out that there's actually um, a specific process under the hood that it lists. That one didn't have it. I have this one here that actually has the proper list, which the first time I tried this, magically it now works. So, um, basically, the first thing you're going to do is take off this bolt here, and this one's missing it, but you're going to take that bolt out. You're going to raise up the air box. There's a little clip under here. You got to take the hose out of the clip. Uh, you don't actually have to take it off the tank. And then there's another clip that's supposed to be right here. You can kind of see the hole there for this hose. You unclip those, um, take the cap off, take this uh, bleeder screw out, and then the whole unit will come up and I have it unhooked on the other one so you can see. This hose will get stretched a little bit, but it'll stay on there. Um, so go over to the other one now. So once you have those unhooked, like that, and that, and it hooked back up from it finally working. Raise this up, it's got this little spot, it takes two hands to do it. And it sits right on the hood latch just like that, which raises it way up in the air above everything else so that you can actually get coolant to the system. Now, once you have those both out, fill it up just to the full. If you fill it up too far, it's going to go back feed into these hoses and take it a lot longer. So only go to the full mark. Then, once that's done, uh, start the motor, run it, let it run until your fan kicks on and kicks off on its own. After it kicks on and kicks back off, shut off the vehicle. Put these two back in, the bleeder screw and the, put the cap back on. But before you put the cap back on, obviously, fill it back to the full. It takes about uh, half a quarter or so. And then put these on. Then start the vehicle. And uh, oh, and one thing with the when you have these off and you're running the vehicle, make sure your AC is shut off. Otherwise, your fan will kick on anyway. But uh, once you start the vehicle after having these back on, you're going to rev it up to about three grand for five seconds, idle for five seconds. Three grand for five seconds, idle for five seconds. Do that with your heat on. When you start getting heat, you know it's going through the heater core, you're done. Took me all of about 20 minutes because the process takes a little bit, but after I did that, it was a lot better. And I didn't, was finally done wasting all the hours.